And in studio with me this morning is Dr. Mark West, who is a consultant cardiothoracic surgeon at the NCRHA. And with me is also Ms. Marsha Ivey, lecturer in public health, UE. Good morning. Morning. Thank Hi. you for Good morning. Me this morning. Great. Thanks to be here. for that allows me here. Now, yesterday was World Chronic Obstructive Pulmonary Disease Day, and that's quite a mouthful. <laughs> yes, it's quite a lot. <laughs> so, Dr. Dr. West, how did you commemorate that day, and what do you do on that day? Okay, so, as you said, it's a mouthful, and it's, it's really a lung-related disease. Okay. It um, is a significant disease. It is the third leading cause of death around the world, so it's a major problem. And that isn't very surprising when you think it's your lungs, and lungs are essential for life. Um, what we tend to do is we alert the public to the signs and symptoms of COPD and how to see your physician and what to do once you're there. Um, we commemorate it by putting up posters and we appear on the media and right. we advertise about lung, lung diseases and World COPD Day. Marsha, from your um, experience being a lecturer in UE for public health, what have you been involved in in regards to COPD and this awareness? Okay, Kerry. So, in 2015, 2014, the UWI, um, in collaboration with the Ministry of Health, they undertook a large survey of the population. It was the um, BOLD study, Burden of Obstructive Lung Disease. And from that study, what was found was that about 9.5% of the population, that was the prevalence of COPD, in Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago. That's in a, Trinidad and Tobago. That's a large percentage. That is a large percentage. And that really comes out to be about 48,000 persons in right. Trinidad and Tobago that's affected by COPD. Now, COPD is a progressive disease. It tends to affect persons 40 years and older. So it starts early, but then we start to see the signs and symptoms later on in age. And so... Once the symptoms start to manifest, so right. persons who are short of breath, persons who are um, wheezing, coughing, and the problem is that sometimes some of the symptoms manif that manifest, persons believe it's because they're getting older, right. but it's also the same types of symptoms that you might see in other diseases like asthma. So you really need to see your doctor to really get the proper diagnosis. And for that to be done, you need to do what's called a spirometry test. Okay. And what was also found is that a lot of those persons that we had, um, the, when we found the prevalence for the study that was done, the majority of them were not diagnosed. So let me ask the doctor then, Dr. West, what is it that brings on the onset of COPD? Well, <clears throat> we know that tobacco smoking is one of the biggest causes. And tobacco smoking has been prevalent throughout the world. The world has woken up and we're reducing the amount of tobacco inhalation, but we're seeing the effects. As Ms. Ivy said, at the ages of 40, we begin to see a lot more of it, but people start smoking in the ages of the teens and 20s. Yes, so sometimes in very, very young ages. Um, and in different countries, I've, you've seen videos online of children smoking yes, and people a, making a, a big deal and making fun of it. But you know, it's not, it's not a laughing matter. It's a major problem because there are uh, companies, let's say, who are promoting cigarette smoking right. aggressively, and it is working. So we have an uptake in what used to be called the third world of tobacco, and therefore we're seeing the tobacco-related diseases a lot more in the third world, uh, of which COPD is one of them. And another is um, lung cancer, and yes, November cancer. being um, also Lung Cancer Awareness Month. I know yes. there's um, a lot to take into stock in regards to that as well. Yes, lung cancer is the number one cancer-related mortality in the world. November is highlighted around the world to, to, to ensure that people are aware of the problem and how to make the diagnosis. The biggest problem about lung cancer is the late diagnosis, like in many right. cancers. But in cases of lung cancer, it's very aggressive. And unfortunately, it takes away a lot of people. Now, tobacco smoking is the number one driver for lung cancer around the world, as well as COPD. But it's not the only cause. But it's not the only cause. And we now know that pollution and we have a lot of that in Trinidad, right. is a big driver. Fuel, um, exhaust fuel is a big driver. And we are finding now that we, in fact, have some patients who've never smoked and probably related to pollution. I have a young lady with me uh, as a patient. She's a never smoker, and she was fortunate. Her doctor was quick off the mark 
to recognize a sign and send her for a chest x-ray right. and that progressed into making the diagnosis and she is going to have her procedure done and she should do very well. So it is possible if we get the disease early to have a big impact. But the main impact is are the signs associated with coughing, chest pain, shortness of breath. Again, if you have these signs and for, it's very early, if you have a cough for greater than three weeks, you should have a chest x-ray. Now in right. Trinidad, we tend to play a lot of games with our health. Oh, don't worry about it. It's right, yeah, it's like, it will pass. It's the flu. It's exactly. the virus. We exactly. do it all the time, but that is not their international recommendations. Three weeks, needs a chest x-ray, right. and then see you, and then follow on by a specialist. And again, the difference of between life and death is early detection. Yes, this young lady has done very well, and she will hopefully do well after her surgery. And that's good news. And just quickly, let's speak quickly about the Thoracic Society of Trinidad and Tobago annual research. Event. Yeah, so the Thoracic Society is an umbrella organization for thoracic specialists, right. and we it started off in 2012, right. and every year we have an annual event where we discuss research and up-and-coming topics. And when is it this year? It's on this coming Sunday. It's mainly geared for the professionals. Right. However, members of the public can access information via our website or our Facebook page. And what is that website and Facebook page before we close off? Well, it's www.tsott.com, uh, I think. Tsott.com. Yep. And on the Facebook, okay. it is the Thoracic Society of Trinidad and Tobago. It's up there on Facebook. All right, well, Dr. West and Miss Ivy, thank you so much for sharing everything you have shared with us this morning.